Different ancient texts from India reveal astonishing accounts of flying machines that served the gods, painting a mesmerizing picture of a reality far beyond our wildest imagination. These extraordinary ships, powered by immense nuclear energy, transcend the realm of myth, ushering us into a world teeming with wonder and enigmatic truths. As we explore the depths of these ancient narratives, the vanished splendor of Atlantis and the enigmatic origins of the Sumerian civilization beckon us to question the technological prowess and the cosmic origins of these ancient peoples, flourishing millennia before the birth of Christ. Spanish engineer Paulino Zamaro boldly challenges the notion that Atlantis is merely a legend, unveiling compelling evidence of a magnificent island that once stood majestically on the heart of the Aegean Sea, only to be swallowed by the relentless surge of a cataclysmic tsunami. The origins of the Sumerians, whether they emerged as indigenous inhabitants of southern Mesopotamia or arrived from neighboring realms, continue to tantalize scholars, weaving an intricate tapestry of ancient mysteries. Yet, an audacious line of thought emerges, weaving together the destinies of these civilizations with celestial cultures from distant corners of the cosmos. Technological marvels, the unleashing of nuclear might, and the profound influence of the Anunnaki gene, linked to the Sumerian and Akkadian deities known as the Anunna and Ijigi, offer a breathtaking narrative that challenges our perception of humanity's true origins on Earth. At the heart of this cosmic saga lie the Vimanas, ancient flying ships of the Hindu tradition. These remarkable vessels unite the threads of Atlantis and Sumer, unveiling an awe, inspiring convergence of advanced technologies. The revered Hindu epic, the Mahabharata, dating back to an era as early as 4000 BCE, spins vivid tales of magnificent flying machines described as chariots of the gods, chariots of the gods, chariots of the sun, and mechanical birds. These detailed accounts, penned by ancient Indian scribes, ignite our imagination and offer glimpses into a realm where extraordinary aerial feats were witnessed and chronicled for future generations. Throughout history, the Christian era's advent cast a shadow of skepticism over these profound Hindu texts, triggering disbelief and relentless attempts to discredit their extraordinary claims. Yet, when viewed through the lens of modern technological understanding, we begin to decipher a fascinating truth hidden within the ancient Indian verses. The seemingly primitive terminology of flying chariots carrying the gods emerges as a remarkable depiction of advanced extraterrestrial spacecraft, sophisticated flying saucers commanded by beings of immense knowledge and cosmic prowess, traversing the celestial skies with ease. Immersed within the rich fabric of Hindu poetry, we encounter poetic whispers of a cataclysmic nuclear holocaust, a horrifying chapter where Vaimanas played a pivotal role. The Mahabharata and Ramayana, ancient epics steeped in divine lore, offer tantalizing glimpses of atomic energy at a time when humanity had yet to fathom its existence. These verses transport us to an era of devastation and unearthly power. A single projectile charged with all the force of the universe, an incandescent column of smoke and flame, bright as ten thousand suns, rose up in all its splendor. It was an unknown weapon, an iron lightning, a gigantic messenger of death, which reduced the entire race of Rishnis and Andhais, which reduced the entire race of Rishnis and Andha, to ashes. The corpses were so burned that they could not be recognized. Their hair and nails fell out. Pots broke for no reason, and birds turned white. Within hours, all sustenance became contaminated. Desperate soldiers sought refuge in rivers, attempting to cleanse themselves and their equipment. Inauspicious winds carried despair. Sun seemed to twist, the universe itself engulfed in scorching heat, as if afflicted by a feverish wrath. Land-dwelling creatures, including elephants, scorched under the weapon's malevolent energy, fled in terror from their searing fate. Even the waters, once serene and life-giving, turned into agents of destruction, 
causing agony for the aquatic beings that called them home. As the devastating conflagration raged on, hostile warriors succumbed like charred trees in a furious inferno. Enormous elephants, once symbols of strength, fell helplessly to the ground, their anguished cries piercing the air. Amidst the devastating blaze that engulfed the forests, the steeds and the chariots themselves, consumed by the weapon's unfathomable power, resembled the charred remnants of trees in a ravaged woodland. The magnitude of these ancient cataclysms would remain mere speculation were it not for a staggering revelation. In 1992, in the region of Rajasthan, a vast expanse of land measuring eight square kilometers was discovered covered in a shroud of radioactive ash. Scientists tirelessly investigate this mysterious site, where inexplicable infant mortality rates and alarmingly high cancer cases plague the local population. Curiously, the radiation levels in the area surpass all expectations, prompting the recent cordoning off of the region following excavation revelations. Further excavations in Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, ancient cities of the Indus Valley civilization, revealed a haunting sight, a scattered array of skeletons strewn across the landscape, reminiscent of a sudden catastrophe that befell these once, thriving urban centers. Most gripping of all, these skeletal remains are often found holding hands, as if victims had desperately clung to one another while fleeing an impending doom. Thus, as we explore the extraordinary accounts of Viminas and their nuclear devastation within the ancient Indian texts, the evidence uncovered in Rajasthan and the harrowing discoveries, in harrowing discoveries, in Harappa and Mohenjo, Daro compel us to question the limits of our understanding. Science fiction, extraterrestrial visitations, myth or stark reality, each hypothesis struggles to encompass the boundless mysteries that surround the realm of Vaimanas. And while the truth remains elusive, we cannot dismiss the profound impact that these ancient accounts have on our perception of the past, present, and perhaps even the future of our enigmatic world.